Number 69 in the Italian collection from 88 Films is Hatchet for the Honeymoon, uh, directed by Mario Bava. Uh, this movie is all about John Harrington. He's a character who uh, runs a kind of fashion empire along with his wife, whom he absolutely hates. They have a broken marriage. They just don't like each other. Have you made any decisions about what we spoke of yesterday? I'll never give you a divorce. Never. We shall stay married until death do us part. Uh, he plays away. She plays away. She is point blank refusing uh, to divorce him just for spite probably, just to antagonise him. Uh, and it works incredibly well. And at the start of this movie you get a, a scene of a man or someone wielding a hatchet, killing a bride, and it turns out that this is something that's been happening a lot. There is someone killing brides. It just so happens that he has a lot of wedding dresses that he sells as well. And very, very early on in the movie, we have a, a voiceover of John, a character who's telling us he's a killer. There is something wrong with him. It's something that he has always done, something that he is always going to do. And it takes the mystery right out of the movie, but gives us a real insight into the character. We're with him, we're watching him doing what he's doing. The fact is, I am completely mad. The realization of which annoyed me at first, but is now amusing to me. There's a kind of tongue in cheek, fun nature about this movie as we kind of know what this character's up to and have the movie play with us a lot. Um, there is a wonderful sequence midway throughout the movie when there is a murder in the house just as the police turn up and on the stairs lays the body, uh, the hand hanging through the rails and blood dripping for uh, onto the carpet, just mere uh, feet away from the police and the way it's shot in this wonderful a Dutch angle from the ground up where you've got the police officers questioning and the body above it is exceptionally playful and that's what Bava does a lot here. We get this character who is rather poor-faced. He's not really expressive. He's not an expressive character um, or a performance. He's rather sullen, straight-faced and completely psychotic. When we get to the, uh, the final third of the movie you really see the character break. He starts to see the visage of someone that he murdered um, and you get to see him kind of break mentally which is a really nice insight into the character that, that, that is kind of funny at the same time and I really do looking at this movie think that it's got a, a streak of black comedy throughout it. It used to be when marriage for a woman was a simple problem of finding success or failure. Now she also has a simple problem of keeping alive. Uh, very much poking fun at it, whether it be conversations between certain individuals that have undertones of humour as they relate to something else, whether it be later on as people are seeing the dead body and he can't understand what exactly is going on, whether it be um, the, the, the weird room with uh, the particular music and this shiny hatchet as he gets women to dress up and kills them. It's a movie that is most definitely measured and controlled in the way it's put together. It doesn't feel like a rushed film. It feels as if someone's been thinking about where the camera is going, what it's doing, um, how it's going to tell the story. It feels very meticulous in the way it's set up and I feel like everything is pretty deliberate that we see on screen. I really kind of like that uh, thinking that's going into the movie. It was one again that I watched uh, twice uh, because I, I watched it. I liked it, I watched it a second time, I became more appreciative of the movie on that second watch, which I thought was uh, really interesting. Uh, Colour-wise, it looks great, the transfer is amazing, it uh, only comes with the en English uh, dub, there's no Italian audio for this, which is a bit of a shame, but it doesn't take away too much from the movie. Um, you get a really playful bava here, um, kind of from the Diabolique days, um, or you know, Danger Diabolique, that kind of error, that kind of colourful, pulpy, uh, but lower budget version of that kind of thing. I quite liked Hatchet for the Honeymoon. It wasn't what I expected and once I settled into the tone of the movie, I appreciated it a lot more for what it was 
rather than expecting a straight up giallo or, or a kind of murder mystery. It's not that kind of movie. It's more straight faced, it's more fun, it's more psychological for the character. I liked it. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie, whether you think it's a, a, you know up there for Bava or one that you should probably forget. Drop it in the comments below so people have got a, a further understanding, a further idea of what they should expect of this movie. As always, there's more content up here that you can check out of mine. If you think I deserve it, hit this video with a like, subscribe, even if you haven't done so, that'd be fantastic. And if you think I really deserve it, share the video. And if you want to go an extra mile, you can join the membership program or the Patreon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time on my V-Film.